As Canada is looking to build back after COVID, interest in sustainable investments will grow and it will grow exponentially. As an investor, we're really focused on measuring specific outcomes and not just output. So I think the importance of standards is crucial to create alignment and transparency. With COVID, we've seen the rise in sustainable investments, the interest in the activity, probably triple, quadruple. You have millennials thinking about where they want to work. And then you have large recognized institutions like BlackRock and others who are putting a stamp on sustainability saying, we're not backing any company unless they have some sort of double bottom line. And then on top of it, you have academics that are saying, we're starting to measure each company's sustainability impact. So we're having companies that are building sustainability practices in advance of those audits and we have investors that will be looking to better understand the investments they're making and what the climate or social impact is of those companies that they're investing in. In impact investing, financial return is directly linked to define social outcomes and impact measurement is a critical element of every project. There are both social and economic indicators of overall success, from the number of jobs created to the number of lives impacted. There isn't right now one standard that could measure all social or environmental impacts. There is a need to create global standards, but the key to success on a global standard will be its simplicity and ease of understanding for the typical investor. A lot of people who are thinking about impact measurement are very focused on catching out people who are greenwashing. I think that's a bit of a red herring. An effective impact measurement system is one that's going to focus on organ helping organizations to manage for better sustainability and impact. It's not necessarily one that's designed to catch people out. Our focus should be on designing measures that help managers improve. And over time, if we build those measurement systems, it will become more difficult for others to greenwash. But if we create an impact measurement system that's focused on avoiding greenwashing, we're going to create something that's cumbersome and bureaucratic that the impact measurement system itself isn't going, is going to underperform on its main duty, which is to improve management and impact itself. Having the right tools in place to measure the performance of the fund and our portfolio companies will help us track that we're doing what we set out to do. Through our new Pollinator Fund for Good, we are investing in businesses and innovations, tackling some of the biggest challenges facing communities today. We will work hand in hand with each of our portfolio companies to clearly define, track, and measure impact. Our goal at Amplify Capital is to expand impact investing. So what we want to see in impact investing is that all investing because impact investing. When we invest, our capital can do harm or it can do good. And if you are impact investing, you are trying to do good. And if you are not impact investing, it's like you are shrugging your shoulders and saying, I don't care if I do harm. And I don't think human beings are like that. I'd love to see more capital coming into the impact investing space to both support and accelerate purpose-driven innovation. We believe that today's corporations have a responsibility to invest in and support the sustainability and growth of the next generation of responsible businesses. Mm -hmm.